Overcast was like, so, we want the Great Wall of Mary Kay to be longer than the Great Wall of China. <laughs> so, he said, and you only have to seminar. So, we got to get on it, you know. So, um, I, I thought that was such a great visual, though. And for your people to have the understanding that the significance of who they are and how they touch lives will be forever engraved in either the corporate headquarters, the museum, you know, in our building. It's huge. They can take their family to see it. They can take potential team members to see it. It's a really big deal. And um, part of that, building that great wall, is the company is asking every single director in the company to have one offspring sales director of this new seminar year. Then you can have more, but at least one. And... Um, I thought that was so, you know, part of it is there's so many nationals who are getting ready to retire. Mm -hmm. And so the company wants us to have this fresh influx of leaders who will still be influenced by those that knew Mary Kay mm -hmm. before they mm -hmm. are retiring in the next one, two, three, four years. Okay? So the strategy behind it I thought was great. And then to have this grown to at least 50, you know, by Christmas <clears throat> and the Great Wall idea with having an offspring. It just mm -hmm. all goes hand in hand, so it shouldn't be confusing. Mm -hmm. It would be easy for you as well to continue the theme of, you know, China mm -hmm. with um, Claire Grace, which just reminded me that one year we went to a Christmas party and they had taken fortune cookies and just dipped one end in chocolate and oh, yeah. colored sprinkles. And then what they did at the end of the party, I think it was a New Year's Eve party, and we all broke open the cookies together and read our little, you know, thing mm -hmm. and ate our cookie. So, you know, so easy mm -hmm. stuff like that that you could do. Um, just to surprise them and to keep it in front of them. We're building our own great wall. How many bricks is our unit going to have? How many bricks is our future area? Like, this is the year for us to finish up our whole national area because we want to have more bricks than anybody, mm -hmm. right? Um, of course, right along with that is how many we want to take to leadership. Mm -hmm. So, if you recall, this also was in your folder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it helps your team members know how much activity mm -hmm. that they may need to do to be able to get themselves in position. So your mm -hmm. girls especially that need a visual, it will be very helpful for them. And I think there were two more pages that went with it. I just happened to grab the top one. Um, so that is something I think that's very significant um, as you're working with them. And I want to ask you guys this. Um, have you already selected who you want to take with you? So that's my first question. Yes. And have you communicated that with them? Okay. So I have a girl that I really, 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 like from the time I added her to my personal team, I've wanted her. I've seen her as leadership material. And um, and she has still just kind of been hesitant. You should wrote your fit, but just definitely we're not going to break any speed records, you know. <laughs> and um, I felt so convicted in my quiet time on Monday just that impression of the Lord saying, you pick her. Mm -hmm. You've been waiting, asking her, let me know when you're ready. This is what I see in you. I now want you to go to her and say, you are the one. Would you be willing to work with me? And what was interesting is I said that to her as she was walking out Monday night, and she burst into tears, and she is not a crier. She's a very strong deep. <coughs> so if y'all know who you know, challenges me in my own unit time that I have come up with the phrase, I am the leader. <laughs> um, that is who I'm talking about. And she is not a crier. But, um, and she's like, I'm so sorry. I hate doing this. And I said, you know what? What that means is God is moving in there. Right. That's the only way that you would be, you know, bursting into tears, have that much emotion. So um, I'm telling y'all that so that if you have somebody like that, that it's not that they're resistant because they're so pleasant about it, but and they it is definitely something they're wanting, but they they're <clears throat> almost it may be afraid to say okay yes now, mm -hmm. um, pray about that and then mm -hmm. if the Lord gives you that you know because I have a couple others that they have said I want to be the one I am the one work with me, um, but sometimes you know you you have to go to them so I'm giving you full release <laughs> to do that mm -hmm. um, if God puts that on your heart. Did you have a question? So if somebody is like completely on your heart and you know their leadership material but they've kind of you know gotten lost in the wilderness and you have asked that question mm -hmm. but you still feel them like 
I've been in the wilderness so long, I don't even know how that would happen mm -hmm. kind of thing. What would you say to them, or how would you keep coming back? Because that's the issue that I'm having right now. Like, she mm -hmm. is the one. Mm -hmm. It's just she's trying to find her way back from the darkness. You know, pray about it first, and I'm sure the Lord will give you direction. But sometimes for me with a situation like that, I'll just say, let's go get our nails done together. Or let's just get, can I treat you to lunch? Mm -hmm. You can bring the kids if you need to, you know, what, depending on her situation. But just, I just leave Mary Kay out of it, and I just go to enjoy her and see, you know, where she's really living. Okay. And um, and that might open up the conversation, okay. or it might be a process. And I know with the person I was referring to, um, she had a serious life change um, almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. And I thought that that was the time. And that is not where she was yet. So we just kept loving on her and praying for her, and she keeps showing up. And so sometimes you may know that, like that, like I said, when I recruited her, I was recruiting her to be a director because that's what I see in her. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we have to wait on the Lord for the timing. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Please. If they have said, I want to be a director, but then their actions tell you something differently and you've talked to them before. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to let her go and move to someone else. Is that what I need to do? That I've had to do that several times with okay. people. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you can do is before I let her go, um, just having an honest heart-to-heart, -heart, you know, at Starbucks or something, just neutral territory of um, this is what I see in you in my heart. And I totally know that's what you say you want. I just need you to tell me if you're ready right now to work with me activity-wise. And if you're not, it's no problem. Because when you are, I'm ready. That mm -hmm. is how I see you. So I don't want you to feel any pressure. But before I move on to find the next Ready Right Now girl, because mm -hmm. you're so important in my heart, mm -hmm. I wanted to have this conversation with you. That's good. And sometimes the very fact of you saying in love, before I move on, which basically means before I leave you behind, yeah. get talker mm -hmm. instead of doer, you know, mm -hmm. Then they're like, oh, I don't really want to be left behind. Mm -hmm. Well, I wonder who she's going to talk to next. And, you know, curiosity did kill the cat, so it can do other things too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. I think it's worth the conversation, though, if you really do see I'm ready for that it. in her. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thanks. Can I just share real quick something that yes. kind of was just like, you know, how when you thought God just kind of poof, infuses an idea? Yes. So um, we. I, we have this little rock thing that I, I'm on counter, and it says all in on it. Mm. And so um, I have just kind of see that every single day. And so I decided just yesterday to start a program, and I've been trying to figure out what is it going to stand for, you know, and I'm still trying to figure it out. But um, I had a consultant, a young consultant that just gone to college, mm -hmm. um, come over last night, and I said, not only do I want to give you this product, but I want us to sit down so I can see you face to face. So she wasn't able to make it Monday night, so I gave her our tracking sheets, and, to, and I said, I want to tell you, I'm starting a new program, like I thought about it a long time ago, <laughs> right now as we're talking, I'm starting a new program, and um, it's called my All In Program, and I want you to be mm -hmm. the first like, charter member, and it stands for Accelerated Leader. Launch, or I just made some. I go, um, I go, I'm not sure about that third, what that third letter means. So I, I want you to help me like pilot this program, Bethany. And I said, I want it to stand for accelerated leaders, and I don't know the other L. And so, so we brainstormed, and she said, Okay, I'm on it, I'm thinking about it. And I said, I'm asking you if you will be my first, mm -hmm. if you will be, and what that means is you saying, I'm all in, I'm pushing it all in. And um, that means that you're going to get more of my time, more of my energy, more of everything. And I want to know, and she, you could just tell she started, I mean, she like held her shoulders mm -hmm. up a little bit higher. Yeah, she like, breathed mm. in, her heart started beating, but she was excited. She was like, oh, I'm ready. So she accepted the challenge. She wants to be my first in my all-in program. So anyway, I'll let y'all know kind of as it goes what that means because I'm totally <laughs> making up as I go along. conversations that are Holy Spirit inspired at the moment mm -hmm. when you're with that particular woman. Mm -hmm. And it can't be an email to, you know, right. sometimes right. my my default is I'll just send an email out to my whole group mm -hmm. and tell them about my new program and they're like, mama. But if you're sitting eyeball to eyeball with somebody and they know that you are picking them, That's like true. you have been intentional and spend that time to look in their eyes and say, are you all in? Mm -hmm. Because if you are, I want to work with you. That may, that's just, that's the game changer right there.
It's true. Can I ask a question too to what yes. Sheree said? What, um, is it, because this has been something that's been bothering me, but when she said that you have the girl that's just not doing the work. Yes. And I know how this conversation will go when I have it with this person. Yes. Uh -huh. um, but what if, what if I really don't see the leadership qualities in this person <clears throat> flat out? Mm -hmm. I mean, just already. I know that it's not there and the work isn't there. Um, and is she happy with her anything? Uh, yes, I know. But, you know, um, I mean, she wants to continue to go and mm -hmm. she wants it. But, you know, she wants it and she always wants it. But then when it comes to doing something, it's always last minute. And I know when I sit down and have this conversation with this person, it will completely deflate any balloon that was even remotely blown up. Mm -hmm. So perhaps But I've just never seen a leadership quality in her. And so that's, I mean, and there's a lot of work involved with so this person. So perhaps you as the coach assessing, is this a rookie? It sounds like no. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like maybe a faithful water girl. Mm -hmm. She's going to be at every game, cheering yeah. everybody else on, and doing a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't say she cheers everybody else on, but she will be at every okay, game. Okay, great. So, <laughs> I mean, I have to be honest. So, why are you picking her? I didn't she, pick her. She, oh, she, she picked us. She's she picking picked herself. Up. Yeah, she picked herself. But so, just kind of put her in a category <laughs> of, okay. you know, like if, if she's after you and she's used to you responding quickly via text or phone mm -hmm. or whatever, um, you might just share with her that you've had some time with your coach and um, that you've been instructed not to respond immediately to text because. If at that time you're working your personal business, your focus needs to be there. Okay, but so like you I just did now with the three text messages. She yes. So you, oh, you can respond different. within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And you know what I've done recently is set a time for myself to look at all my texts, emails, mm -hmm. and voicemails. Mm -hmm. And I respond then. Mm -hmm. Because it's too distracting for me. And then mm -hmm. I'm not powerful in the moment of whatever mm -hmm. my actual mm -hmm. appointment, even if the appointment was, you know, working on y'all's letter from me or what I want to talk to y'all about this morning, you know, that is as important or more so than answering right away. Mm -hmm. I've even had to, most of the time when I'm at home working, I have to turn the phone off. Mm -hmm. And I leave it like this. Plus, mm -hmm. it includes mm -hmm. them, so that enables them. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. if you give them just a little bit of time, they'll mm -hmm. either get frustrated enough that they'll call somebody else or they'll exactly. figure it out on their own. So. Mm -hmm. It's so true. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I mean, I, that all I do, it's just getting that mindset of mm -hmm. 